Good morning, friends. Hi. Um, I am outside here to show you guys um, my cereal box ramp project. Um, I hope you guys will do some exploring and making ramps out of things you can find around your house today. Um, and I just wanted to show you what I did. Hang on. All right. So here is my cereal box that I cut up and I cut it from the side. I just cut right off the side so that I have a piece that looks like this. And this is going to be my ramp. Now you can use books, blocks, whatever you can find around your house to stack something up and make a ramp out of it. I'm just going to use my cereal box here for a minute. So here's my ramp. Now I can set it up like this and then let something roll down it. I found, I don't have any little cars in my house. I bet you guys have some cars or, or balls or something you can use. I'm just going to use this spool of thread because it's round and I think it'll roll. Now for my case, if I do this, what do you guys think will happen? If I put this down this ramp, you think it'll stop at the bottom or will it keep going? Do you think it'll stop at the bottom or keep going? I think it'll keep going and it might just go flying right off the table. So I'm going to do this just to show you how my ramp works. You might like if your thing went flying off the table. I'm going to show you how my ramp works. I'm going to set it right here. Oh, look at that. It rolls right down my ramp. Now, how could you make a bigger ramp? Because that's kind of a short ramp, isn't it? Think about how you could make a bigger ramp. What do you think? Hey, my cereal box has another side right here. You could cut off the other side tape them together and make a bigger ramp, right? I'd love to see what you experiment with and how you make um, some ramps out of boxes you might have around your house, the edges of them. It doesn't have to be cereal. Um, you can make longer ramps, shorter ramps, depending on what kind of box you have. Um, you can use books to stack up. I could make this higher if I put something else underneath here. What would happen if I made this, this ramp, the ramp support even higher? What would happen? Would my, would my um, spool of thread go faster or slower? So what do you think? What can you make? How can you make some ramps? Do you have stuff around your house you can make ramps out of? And what kind of things can you roll down your ramp to see if they go faster or slower? You can slow things down, speed them up. Remember, we've experimented with this a lot in our classroom, and I'd love to see what you come up with. Wishing you well. Bye.